let me take you back to 1987. The games that came out will absolutely blow your mind. It's a good fucking year. One of the best years in gaming, hands down. You would be hard pressed to find another one. I mean, Listen to these joints that like came classic out. Classic on classic on classic. Metroid released August fifteenth, nineteen eighty seven. Iconic game. We've covered it multiple times yeah. on the show. Dude, I don't, I don't see us ever stop talking about Metroid. Metroid is like one of the top titles that's ever came out of Nintendo. Mike Tyson. Jason's Punch-Out came out October 18th, 1987. I mean, that's self-explanatory. There's man. not really more you can say, you know? I mm. mean, the game was only in circulation for a couple years because the licensing ran out. I Every mean, kid has great memories of that game. And the code. It's embedded in everyone's head. Mike Tyson is fucking hard to beat, which makes this game one of the hardest games of all time. Me and you have no chance of beating it. Zero beating I saw a dude online beat him blindfolded and i was like go fuck yourself <laughs> yeah rbi baseball was released in september of 1987 uh, just one of those games it put baseball on the map to me you know I me mean? for video games that's when you realize oh this so could be fun had the player names yeah in the, the game. first game ever that i know of that had all real teams and real players kid icarus came out in july of 1987 that game right there i like its cameo that it got in, in super mario in oh, the that's movie. i'm thinking too man that's awesome yeah. that it got that cameo another classic game and then come on y'all star man pro wrestling dropped in march of 1987 badass game and before anybody comes for me, these are North American dates. Yeah. Because a lot of these games were released in Japan in 86. Yeah. And then followed, released in uh, America in 87. So pro wrestling, man. Come on. Good game. But still fun. We play it all the time here. I'm always Starman, though. You know, that iconic yeah. star. Amazon. It's got all King Slender. This next game, y'all. Top three of all time. Top three video game franchise of all time right here. The Legend of Zelda was released on the NES. Man. In America, August 22nd, 1987. That it's, game changed it all. Talk about a run. They're still on it. Like, they're making games of the year now. And back then, this game blew everybody's mind. The adventure part of it mm -hmm. really set it off in this. This is the first game that took you on an adventure. It's the one that we lived with for weeks, months, years, years even. Yes. Figuring new stuff out because there was no internet access and there were no cheat codes. So fun, watch man. playthroughs, all that. You just had to figure it out or use a Nintendo Power. Yeah, there's people who have played this so much that they didn't play any of the other titles on N87. One of my favorites of all time. How Castlevania. Did, how did this come out too, man? Dropped in May of 1987. Dude, I'm telling you some iconic titles that went on to have franchises. Like, this is a legend list. It feels like we're talking about a best of list. It does. List. Basically is. You know, these are some of the best games on the NES. So yeah, Castlevania, I mean, what else can you say? It still lives on. Yep. It's often regarded as one of the best games on the NES, but I personally love three. Yep. Uh, I love one. I love them all. There you go. There's video games. In 1987. 1987. What an awesome year.